Here at our Haywards Heath Yard is the heart of the operation. We're responsible for all refuse, recycling, green waste and road sweeping in the Mid-Sussex district. It's an early start for the crews as the day begins. My name's Lee Collins and I'm the team leader for Sucker. My job is just to make sure that the lorries are roadworthy, the blokes are all crewed up, making sure that they've got the correct PPE, the keys for their vehicles, the defect books, the driver's books, the round sheets, and that they carry out their daily jobs. While the vehicles are being checked, the crew discuss the day ahead. My name's Daniel Felton and uh, I'm a loader. We don't start this, the first bin until 7 o'clock. I think 7 o'clock is a reasonable time. We've sorted the route out. Some roads you'll get traffic, so we'll try and hit them roads first and like the schools, so we're not around any children. One week will be rubbish, one week will be recycling. We don't run around, we just go at a normal pace and we work together. If it all goes to plan, we can have it done quite early. We've done 24 tonne of rubbish and we've done it by about half 12. One of the biggest challenges when Serco took over the contract was to change the perceptions of management by the workforce, as staff morale was running low. I started the same as Dan, out and around. I had a very bad reputation. I must have had at least six months off, and suspended three times. And then obviously Serco took over, and, and it's, a, it's a lot better. Utilising existing talent and giving staff the encouragement they needed was a top priority. They saw something in me and they gave me the opportunity to prove myself. I started off doing small stuff and it just grew from there really. Then this job came up, they were looking for a team leader and I went for it and I got the job. Developing staff through mentoring and training was also high on the agenda. They do send you away for courses, health and safety, disciplines, vehicle inspections. I'm even looking into trying to do my HGV. If I do pass it, it'd be a massive step up. Some of this training goes a long way to adding value in the community. Every day you never know what's going to happen. I've just come out of the first day course, it was literally a day after. There's this little old lady that we go and get her bin for. But when I went in and got her bin, she was laying on the floor. She'd been there for a few hours. It was quite nice because I was just reassuring her, trying to tell her, don't worry, the ambulance is on its way and you know everything they taught me. I felt really happy that I'd done that. My boss gave me employer a month for that. Actively encouraging input from all levels of staff ensures the best ideas come forward. The management will sit down and listen to your ideas. And if they think it's going to work, they'll take it on board. We know what we're doing and they know we know what we're doing. So they do listen. It's nice knowing that you've got the management team behind you. And we're delighted that these positive changes are being noticed by our customers. People respect you around here. I mean, I've always got people come up to me and go, oh, thanks for your hard work, you do a smashing job. I do like working in Miss Sussex. Delivering great service involves strong processes, but above all, it's about our people. With their commitment, ideas and teamwork, we transform good service into great service. <laughs> <laughs>